Good morning boys and girls, how are you all doing? It's another week for one man in his boat, are you ready? I certainly am. What do you make of this? It's like spring, it's suddenly popped up. Got hard frost this morning, I mean it was uh, minus one this morning when we went and took the bear to school. That's uh, kids for everybody that doesn't understand Scottish. Uh, we took the kid to school, minus one, there you are. <laughs> Eh, uh, but what a glorious day! Right, let's get on with the show! So guys, before we get started, I'd just like to thank you guys for all your support. Thank you to all my old subscribers and thank you to all you new ones that have just subscribed. My name is Barry and this is the Lindsay B, our Cygnus 21 that I am going to be fishing commercially once she's built. And this is our journey, is to try and get from A to B and all the red peril in between. Now, building a boat's no easy and it's not cheap. So... My advice to you is, stick with this channel and find out how hard it really is. So boys and girls, how many more times do we have to do this balls pump scenario? Fingers crossed today will be the last day, because I've got my new delivery here which I'll show you in a minute. However, I'm about as done as you guys are. <laughs> I mean, how many more videos do we have to try and get the back end finished so we can get beams in etc. But we'll try and uh, put that one to bed today, I hope. Anyway, come and see what I've actually uh, just received from the postman. Pipe producers. Two off. My whale gulper 320. Right boys and girls, what we've got here is my brand new bullish pump, okay? Uh, it's a whale gulper 320 and I'm not getting paid for advertisement. This is basically what I could afford at the time. Uh, it does everything that I need it to do, especially with the amount of water that's going to go in into the Lindsay B. Now it does 19 litres per minute. It's a three quarter inch or an inch uh, diameter on the outflow of the pump itself and you get a free strum box. Now this and all the other parts was the £240 that I uh, said in last week's video. Now just to get the pump alone when you get the, the, like the Jab School puppy pump or something like that, I mean that's nearly £300 in itself. So for me, in my application, this is what's best for me. So let's open the box and let's see what's inside. Ooh, shiny, shiny. Right. There's our little strong box. That should definitely go in the place. We maybe need to make a wee plate and glue that down as well. Take that sort of cleaning the filter. Nice one. Also you have your instructions how to fit, got a little nice fuse and a new, oh a nice end. And there's the pump itself guys, actually quite a good one. Now it's self priming and there's no filters to clog up or anything like that so It says max flow 20 litres, 5.3 US gallons minimum and it can run dry as well, That's a, that was another thumbs up that I really thought was quite good especially when uh, we were talking about 
our video a couple of weeks ago about the hydrogen and the bulges and that this wee pump will do exactly what I needed to do so guys be the intelligent man that I am I've read the instructions and what it's stating is these pumps are not good if you've got a vessel over 12 meters luckily for us your Lindsay B is only 7 meters so thumbs up there uh, they do come in 12 or 24 volt Obviously the, my system is a 12 volt system, so I've bought the 12 volt one, makes sense. If you'd like to purchase one of these, you can get them on basically most marine websites. Uh, but I get basically all my stuff from ASAP, which is a UK firm, uh, for all you international folk out there. And it, it looks like it's going to do exactly what I need it to do, so let's go and get this fitted. <sighs> So guys, now that we know where we're putting the pump in the strum box, and now we've got our angle as well, because you can actually turn the angle on these, which is absolutely fantastic. It's got a wee one-way valve in there, and it actually goes in any position. So you've got multiple ways you can actually put the strum box, which is exactly what I needed. Right, we now know where the positions they're going to go, so now what I've got to do is make base plates for them, get them glued into the boat, let the glue set, and it might take a while in this weather because it's still minus Baltic. The sun may be shining, but there's no heat. Uh, and we're going to make a plastic base for this to raise this up just that little bit, enough to get a couple of hoses in. So let's get on with it. Jagged the edges. Jaggedy, jaggedy, jaggedy.
Right boys and girls, that's the pump and the strong box now ready for fitment. Um, what I had to do actually was double the height on the plastic. Uh, because if you look down here, we just didn't have enough height on the pump itself. Um, this section here was about level with that part there, so that was no good to man or beast. So obviously we had to tighten it a little bit. Uh, strong box is all ready to go in. And um, that'll get a bedding compound and we'll glue that into place at a slight angle. And then the hose will come out here, then up into the pump, and obviously the pump to there, and then out oh. in the back of here, and then out through our outlet. And obviously there'll be another one-way valve in between that. So that's a one-way valve at the strum box and a one-way valve before it uh, exits the boat. So, I think Lindsay B will have more than enough pumps to pass her MCA inspection. She has two electrical uh, bulge pumps and one hand bulge pump, all with high capacity. So, like I say, if we've got that much water in the Lindsay B, we'll run the world to heart anyway. <laughs> Right, let's get on with this next task, which is getting ready for the bedding compound. Right guys, now that that's done, what we're going to go on to now is uh, earthing that back end. Uh, it's probably going to be a day or two before that stuff sets because it's just fine as Baltic, man. I'm getting it in dried. So, I guess we'll not be finishing the pumps this episode then, will we? <laughs> but at least we can get on with another couple of bits and bobs at the back. Eee, if it offered the one of a heated shed, that'd be lovely. Right, let's get on.
So there we go boys and girls, nice and simple. Uh, starting to look like a back end now. Wee. Yes, I know it's a sloppy job, but it's the middle of winter. You can see the, the fight I've got here, everything's just a, oh, it's just a nuisance, so it is. But, we'll get there, we will get there. Uh, it's just taking a hell of a lot longer than what I expected it to. But I suppose that's boat building at its best, isn't it? Right there, my friends. I think I'm going to knock it on the head at that because wait till you see these outtakes, it's just nearly as long as this film. <laughs> I can't, I, honestly, I couldn't have spoke right. <laughs> right, my friends. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you wish. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And tick that notification bell. And I'll see you guys next week for your next episode. All the best, my friends. Right, guys, after reading the instructions, um, this wee bad boy doesn't do over 12 meter boats, which is unfortunate. But there you go. I mean, also, you've got a 12 meter boat, you want a bit of pump, a bit of power. I've slaved her nonsense again. Ah, Stuart's starting with the tractor. The outtakes are going to be brilliant. As always, guys, I just want to say, no, oh, stupid, stupid. As I call that is in the shade. But before we get started, guy, guy, take two. It just shows you what I don't know. I mean, this is the whole point of this channel. As an amateur boat builder myself, well, no boat builder, no, I'm a amateur fisherman. No, that doesn't even make sense either. <laughs> The shed is as, as light as a woman, uh, black. Ah, oh, there you came out actually. <laughs> oh, shit. Last week's video, I was struggling. Oh, look, I've, I've naffed up. I've naffed up. Right, guys, last week's video, I was absolutely struggling because. Oh, and there's a dog starting now. I can't win. I swear to God, I can't win. Go back a, a video or two. Sue, please be quiet. Oh, can't get nothing done. Yeah, but for the same price as just getting the pump. Oh, God, really? I can't win. Honestly, guys, this is just an absolute freaking nightmare of the day. If it's no job's gone wrong with the freaking boat, it's freaking dogs barking when you try to film. Fair minute. And here comes my brother in law with his blooming forklift to knock up the sound. And I can't win today. Right guys, on reading the instructions. Hold on, I'll have to say that again. Right guys, on reading the instructions. Take two, I think, on that one. So guys, now with the... Um, so, we can... We now know... We're on my way again. Jesus. <laughs> first things first, cup of tea, it's half past ten. Hey, subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed. Subscribe it. See, there's another one for the outtakes.